Hi, my name's Alex and today I'll be taking you through this week's question and answer session from us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. This is what we should see when we select the property name cell within the custom properties dialog box within SolidWorks. Now we've had a customer that found that this drop down list had disappeared and the question was why and how do you fix it? So this can typically occur after a reinstall of SolidWorks or an upgrade of SolidWorks and we'll have a look at a situation where that has occurred. So we're looking at an assembly in SolidWorks and if I go to the custom properties dialog box you'll see that we have some custom properties added to this but if I go to add another one you'll see that nothing appears in the drop down list. Now the drop down list references a, a text file called properties which is located on in the program data folder for SolidWorks and is installed automatically with it. Now during the upgrade or the reinstall what we may have found is that that file path that it was pointing to no longer exists or has been updated. So we'll just double check that. If we just OK that and go into our system options, file locations and then show folders for and we'll go custom property files, you can see that the folder that it was referencing for that properties file is called C Program Data SolidWorks SolidWorks 2013 Lang English. Now if we open up an explorer window we'll see if we can browse to that location. So it's C Program Data, just note that is hidden in that folder by default so you'll have to show it if you want to do this. SolidWorks and you can see that SOLIDWORKS 2013 no longer ex exists. What we do find though is that we do have a folder for SOLIDWORKS 2014, LANG, English, and within there we have our properties.txt file. And if I just open that up, you can see all the properties that are stored within it. So all we have to do here is just copy that location, delete the current one, and add that location to this list. So now SOLIDWORKS knows where the properties file is and all we have to do here to test this works is just go into our file properties and then hit the drop down and you can see that the list that was shown in the text file is replicated within SOLIDWORKS. Now this list is customizable, you can add your own properties to it so I would actually suggest that you do that and then take that properties.txt file and, and store it on the server and then point SOLIDWORKS to look at the file on the server. That way that if you've got a multi-user environment then everyone can share the same properties.txt file. So that brings us to the end of the demonstration. Thank you for watching.